Oh, yeah, back up, back up. I got one on each hook. <laughs> oh, it's gonna break. Dude, I got a double for real. Guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in for another uh, edition, we'll call it, of sewing Outdoors. So, uh, today we are going to Patoka Lake. Obviously, as a lot of you know, that's relatively close to me, about 40 minute drive. About the closest water I've got other than the tough old Ohio River. But I think today we're gonna go to Patoka, throw a buzz bait. We, uh, we were catching some smallmouth, or trying to catch some smallmouth there a week or so ago. Today, we've got bluebird skies and no wind. Probably ought to be deer hunting. But nonetheless, we're gonna go throw a buzz bait for a little while. Stay tuned guys, hopefully we have a little bit of top water action for you. It's that fall deal now to where, you know, we're full on fall. So the summer pattern is done. Uh, the transition pattern is basically done. Now it is fall fishing. For about the next two or three weeks, it, it, you know, this water is falling pretty rapidly. Um, once we get down into that low 50s, upper 40s, we're gonna start transitioning then over to more of a winter type pattern. And I think we're gonna see that sooner than we expected. But this week, it's gonna be a little bit warmer. We'll see what happens. It's that time of year where we're starting to wind down. Honestly, it's kind of a bittersweet time of year for me because I love to deer hunt, but I still love to fish. And every time I find myself saying I really need to go hunting, the rut's on. Um, I also find myself thinking there's probably a good topwater bite somewhere. It could be hit or miss though. Um, you know, today could be a day where we don't get a bite or we could wreck them. We'll find out. As always guys, thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Help us grow the channel. We're, we're trying uh, uh, very hard to get as much content out there as we can. Hunter loves it. Uh, you know, I'm really enjoying doing this. But again, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share that with your friends. We appreciate you. See you in a bit. see if we catch a couple large mouth we've been at it for about two hours two and a half hours on the small mouth and have had one and lost one lost a good one and those were all back in this creek arm over here where the water's a little cleaner this water out here is not bad it's pretty clean we're gonna go run around a couple places see if we can catch a large mouth we're still gonna stop on a few small mouth places so got a couple hours left Let's see if we can make it happen Oh. 
boat. Big size. Big size. How big? Like 16 pounds? Oh my gosh, she's like 15 pounds, dude. Don't put him in the boat, dude. Mm -hmm. oh my. Two of them. I got a double. Double? Yeah, back up, back up. <laughs> I got one on each of them. <laughs> oh, it's gonna break. Dude, I got a double for real. Oh. No, the other one came off. No! I had a double. It's <laughs> game. 16 and a half. Get him. Get him. Get him. Wait, <laughs> he wasn't going nowhere, was he? Put him on the scale. Oh, we got him. Get him in the scale. Big old striped beast. Get him in the scale. Not what we're fishing for. We have definitely caught everything but what we're He's fishing that for. Look, He's that. Another one? Another stripe? Stripey? Another big stripe. Another stripe. Oh, big one. Oh, he ain't dead. Well, put him in a lava. Come on, Yeah. He's yeah. The fighter? I'm sorry. They're all smallmouth. They just ain't the right smallmouth. But they all smallmouth. They're good ones. If it's an eight, I mean, we'll... them off from the right, throw the other way. Throw back towards the bank. Yeah. Alrighty guys, we just got back from the lake <laughs> and our smallmouth trip, well, <laughs> it kind of turned into a smallmouth of sorts. Pretty much everything we caught has a smallmouth, but not the smallmouth. So once we realized that we wasn't going to do all that great on the smallmouth like we planned, we decided to take advantage of the opportunity and stock Lake Frigidaire. Every now and then you got to stock that lake up a little bit. So Lake Frigidaire has got some nice stripers going in it here in just a little bit. Get the old knife sharpened. Catch you all next time, as always. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share it. Send it to your buddies. Send it to whoever. If they like fishing, don't like fishing. Like me, don't like me. That's fine. But the only way to grow it is to share it. So, we appreciate it. We will figure out these brown fish at Patoka eventually. 
I would really like to catch a few of them. Y'all have a good one.